need some uh, nail cutters. So these are good for, these nail cutters are very small, but they're very good for um, cats and small dogs. Puppies in specific, usually they're very, very good for small breed puppies and they offer a more kind of support. These are small, our big dog chompers. Uh, they usually can withstand a lot more force than um, than our small dog clippers. They do, they look intimidating, but they're actually very easy to use. This is a Dremel 7300. There are many other Dremels out there. This is basically a small strip of sandpaper that you can use to file down your dog's nails just like we do with our nail files. Our next set of supplies is gonna be a quick stop powder. This is a cauterizing powder that is used on nails. If you may or may not know, uh, dogs and cats both have blood supplies that run into their nails unlike us. And if cut too short, this can cause them to bleed. It's not a big 911 emergency, but it can happen and this is what stops it. Once again, this is our star pupil moose. He is a four to five month old Bernadoodle. He's very, very excited to be here, but not too excited for the nail trim. So let's get into it. So this, these are Moose's nails. He has black nails, which can be a little intimidating more than, yes, thank you, Moose. Can be a little more intimidating than uh, white or transparent nails where you can actually see the red blood supply. So his runs about up to here, I would say. So he's gonna be very easy and you just tip the nails and then uh, file them down. So with Moose, we're going to use the small nail clippers. No Moose. <laughs> Come here, buddy. And we're just going to tip his little nails because they're very, very short and they're not long at all. And then we're going to follow up with the low setting of the Dremel so that we don't scare him too much. He's laying down because he's not having it. I know Moose. And this is how Moose's nail looks at the end. Wow, very short. <laughs> very short. Yeah, thank you. And so you just repeat that process. Should he ever have any blood come from any of his nails, what we'll do is we'll open up this quick powder and we'll grab a tiny, tiny bit of it. You can use a Q-tip to do this and we'd apply it on the nail like so and just stick it on there so that the blood stops. It should stop in about five seconds. If it does take a little longer than that, just add more and stay there. So now we're gonna show you a little bit about how we do white nails. It's essentially the same thing, but it's a little easier. So here we're tipping this little girl's um, nails you can see that we're doing just the very very tip and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the dremel right after and just do a quick pass because she didn't have way uh, too much nail to to dremel same thing to the next paw and we're gonna do all four paws um in a way that we're supporting the dog by holding them close to our body and just dremeling and we're gonna kind of go around the quick, so the blood supply, the nerve, we're gonna kind of go around it so that we can get the nail a tiny bit shorter. And this is the difference with the pop pad shave on the underside, that's also part of what makes the nails um, look clean. These are some really long nails, black nails, don't be intimidated by them. And this is a final of that little dog's paw. There are some nails that can curve in and hurt your dog, so it's really important to do it. These are actually my dog's nails. <laughs> and please give us likes and thumbs up on all our videos and subscribe. We are going to be putting up videos more often. Um, and thank you so much for your support.